Since my brother is studying abroad in Sheffield for the spring of 2019, my parents and I used him as an excuse to go to Europe for two weeks. We flew out of O'Hare in Chicago at the beginning of April, and I documented the whole experience through video. It was a pretty crazy two weeks, but we had so much fun. So this was actually my first seven hour flight, and I didn't hate it. It was fine. Um, we ended up getting a full meal and a bunch of snacks, and I managed to read my book, um, and I also finally watched The Crimes of Grindelwald, and it was terrible. I would not recommend it at all. But we ended up landing in London around like 11 p.m., which is like 5 p.m. our time. <laughs> um, and once we got there, we crossed over my first official non-US border. Um, and I sneakily took some footage of this sign to prove that I was there. <laughs> so we made it to London. So exciting, they let us in. Um, and now we're looking to get to our train. And it's like 11 o'clock p.m., but it feels like it's like five o'clock. So I'm awake. Just having a grand old time. Since we got in so late, we pretty much raced across the airport to be able to catch our train um, because we didn't want to take a taxi or an Uber or anything. Um, and so this was our first train experience, but we ended up going to Paddington Station, and everybody loves Paddington in Europe. Um, and it was pretty cool, actually. I love the tube uh, way more than American subways, so for the record, just letting you know that. Um, but we ended up going to our cute little Airbnb. So this is the room that I had. It was pretty quaint and small. Um, it's also interesting in Europe because they don't have top sheets. It's literally just a duvet. Um, and that was kind of weird to get used to. But yay, we made it to the first day, Sunday morning. Um, it was our first official day. And naturally, because of the jet lag, we all woke up like way later than we originally planned. <laughs> It's 8.18 on Sunday, April 7th. We're leaving at 8.30. I just got up like five minutes ago. I set my alarm for 7.30 and I, it went off and I was like, oh, this is nice. I'm gonna sleep a little bit more because I'm a little bit tired. Yeah, so then I just didn't wake up. Today we are like exploring London. We're doing Buckingham Palace. Um, that's all I know. I, we, I don't really know what else we have planned. This is what I looked at most while we traveled. My parents and my little brother who just turned 21. So first up, we ended up having breakfast at this cute restaurant called the Writing House Cafe. Um, it was really, really sweet and quaint and quiet, uh, very British. Um, and so naturally I had porridge and it was actually amazing. Like I still remember this meal. It was so delicious. Um, and dad got tea because England. So after that, we headed to Buckingham Palace to see the changing of the guard. Um, and I took footage of basically everything because England just looks way different from America. More tube riding because that's literally, we did tubes and walking the whole time. Um, but it was really weird because so many people go to the palace for this. And it was like this strange pilgrimage with everybody walking there. So it was kind of weird, uh, but it's beautiful, I guess. I really liked all the gold stuff that was happening. But it was really weird learning about the monarchy on this trip because I only really know about our democracy and like just it's royalty is weird. <laughs> um, also, I just want to point out I was in a terrible mood the entire time we were in London. Uh, I don't know what it was. I think I was just uncomfortable and I didn't like being around people so much. But basically, I just look like I don't want to be there. And it's that's how I felt. Like, I just want to be honest, like London was the worst part of the trip for me. It was just a lot but we ended up making our way over to the churchill war rooms because obviously um i didn't really want to go <laughs> kind of why i was in a bad mood um but it is historical and like world war ii and whatever so that's fun i guess <laughs> So after that, we wandered around. We found the Eye and Big Ben, which is like totally covered up right now, except for the clock face, but everything was just like really cliche and touristy and like, it was fun, I guess, <laughs> but I was still in a bad mood. So then I convinced my family to stop at Waterstones, which is basically like the British version of Barnes and Noble. Um, I really wanted to pick up a British edition of Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass. So I picked that up at the beginning of the trip and hauled it around to like three different countries. It's great. <laughs> So after that, we kind of walked around looking for lunch. 
Um, and we settled on Pizza Express, which is really just like a pizza place. It's a pizza chain, um, but pizza is really great. So because I was in a bad mood, I was like, you know what, cheese pizza, it makes everything better. And like, it was really great because my family is just like, they put up with a lot of my bad moods and I'm just very thankful for them. <laughs> After that, uh, we decided to go to the National Gallery, which is just a fancy way of saying the British Art Museum. <laughs> so it was free, which was great. Um, and I actually liked the architecture way more than the real art that was inside of it. Um, I kind of hate museums, but like, look at the ceiling. It's just so stunning. I kept looking at it the whole time. Like, I don't think I actually looked at real paintings. It was just me looking at the ceiling. Um, but like I said, I kind of hate art museums, so I kind of go just to appease whoever I'm with. Uh, but it was really cool because they did have some Monet um, and Van Gogh because we're in England, so it's Van Gogh, not Van Gogh. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. I just like, I hate museums, so like, it's fine. Everything's great. And that's day one. So Monday was our big day because we had tickets to Westminster Abbey. That's the big cathedral over by Big Ben. Um, and there's a lot of ancient famous people buried there, lots of artists and science people. Um, and so they don't actually let you film anything inside, but we did take a really cool tour that was like special. Um, and so it let us go behind the scenes to the spot where William and Kate signed their marriage license. So that was pretty cool. Also, it's gorgeous, look at it. <laughs> So then after that, we wandered around and we looked for lunch and we ended up going to da, 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 Nando's, Nando's, whatever it is. Um, I've actually been to Nando's in the States, um, but there's something about having it in Europe is just like, it's so much better, you know? And they also had Wi-Fi, so that was great. <laughs> So after that, uh, we didn't really know what else to do. So I recommended we go to the Kensington Gardens. And that is a place, the Kensington Palace is a place where Queen Victoria lived at one point, I think. Um, but it was really pretty. There were a lot of dogs and flowers. And we also got to see some really cool birds just like hanging out with people, which was really cool. Like, look at him. He's just eating, having a grand old time. <laughs> Um, and it was also really cool because this is where Taylor Swift visited in like 2012, 2013. Um, yes, I always relate things back to Taylor. Um, but it's really cool because she went and visited the memorial for Princess Diana and we were there and I was like, wow, remember when Taylor walked these roads and yeah, it was really cool. Um, I liked it because it was super chill and beautiful and like there is some really cool history there. Um, so we ended up actually going into the palace and uh, they, they had like a little tour thing going on. So we got to learn about royalty, which was pretty cool. Um, and I love this like little gardeny maze thing. I would have taken so many photos there if I had been with my friends. <laughs> So then after that, uh, dinner was just this random fish place, um, but we did get fish and chips while we were there, which was great. And then after that, mom and I ditched the boys and we went down to West End to see our fave, Mamma Mia. So um, even though I've actually seen this movie a thousand times, I've never seen it live. So I got to see it in British for the first time and it was really, really cool. Everybody was super talented. Um, and I love the ABBA sing along at the end. It was like, my life. It was wonderful. <laughs> a little different than Broadway in New York, but still wonderful. Still would recommend it definitely for sure. Um, and then just like that, it was the day we had to leave. So I took some shots of our Airbnb to kind of remember how small and quaint and beautiful it is, but also it's really just tiny. Like the shower in the bathroom was so thin, like I could hardly stand. Ugh, it was so small. <laughs> um, but the we just walked. There was so much walking. Um, I think we walked like 80 miles, um, but we decided to go to the British Museum before we left for Berlin that day. Um, and so we were there for like an hour and it was pretty uneventful, but we did see the old things uh, like the Rosetta Stone because history, you know? Boom, amazing, I think. I don't know, I hate museums. <laughs> did you know? <laughs> So um, after that, then we went to a cute, adorable little cafe uh, for brunch and it was just really, really sweet. I um, ended up getting this really, really great, just like eggs and toast. I think it was supposed to have avocados on it, but they didn't put any on mine, uh, which was fine. But it really just like makes me miss European food because it's, it's just really, it's great. Like, look at that, so delicious. <laughs> miss the food, ugh and the fam obviously love the fam 
Even though this was like a really quick trip to London, I was way more excited about getting to fly to Germany next. Like Germany, oh my gosh, I love Germany. Um, I could not contain my excitement. So even though I was like really bummed in London, I was just like ready for Berlin. Woohoo! Next stop, Berlin. <laughs>